say it can go around a track and I suppose the benchmark for that would be the Norch Life. Indeed. Uh, this is a sort of tends to be, a, I would say in performance vehicle terms, this tends to be the benchmark and of course it's going to set uh, a new benchmark, but how? Yeah. I think the important thing to remember is uh, whilst we've released many figures on this car, uh, I don't think anyone's really gra grappled with the fact that at 150 miles an hour we're generating over 600 kilos of downforce. That allows for 2G plus cornering speeds. Uh, the whole car is, uh, reconfigures itself according to the mode. So you can have full electric, over 120 miles an hour full electric, short range, but uh, in city conditions, over 25 kilometers of range, full electric. Then automatically switch to a very sophisticated hybrid system, which allows for the 170 horsepower of electric power to be fed in a very controlled way to completely eliminate turbo lag. So have a completely linear performance from effectively zero horsepower to over 900 horsepower. Total drivability, and then another switch into track mode, where rear wing deploys, uh, is goes into not only uh, it contributing to the 600 kilo, uh, ki uh, kilos of downforce, but actually gives you DRS capability on the straight, which with I pass another 70 horsepower, 170 horsepower to supplement the uh, the uh, standard 730 odd horsepower of the production engine. So completely unique, and then you need to stop. Stopping very important. Two <laughs> Some things. people might not want to ever stop. First of all, the uh, Corsa tyres developed by Pirelli, a very well known, uh, very well known uh, name, uh, P1 Corsa. But this is, in fact, uh, in fact, a unique tyre. It has to be unique because of the downforce, and that coupled to the the uh, Acabono brakes, some of the most advanced technology, new material, uh, a carbon silica uh, mix. Uh, after 44,000 kilometers of testing uh, on one set of brakes, the condition was just mind-blowing. So this is a performance vehicle that isn't gonna cost the customer endless amounts of top-ups. Uh, it is a, is a car that's already heavily developed, outstanding performance, and really breathtaking to drive. Well, somebody who's getting used to driving McLaren's on track is McLaren's newest Formula One recruit. Please put your hands together and welcome onto the stage, Sergio Checo Perez. Checo, good to see you again. Like. I was amazing. <laughs> I went with Ron to, to drop the car and it was just an amazing experience. I think the way it looks, first of all, is beautiful, a beautiful car, but also the way it handles is, a, is the closest I've ever been to a Formula One car. The way it breaks, the amount of speed that you can carry into the corner, the amount of downfall that you can produce with a road car. It, I was quite impressed with the, with the technology, but I think in the end it, it makes sense now because all the engineers from the Formula 1 team and the, from P1, they are working together to build the, this car and it's really a massive car and a massive project, which it was a great experience for me to drive. Big smiles from Sergio, but Ron, I gather that you got involved in the fun. 